Crawl optimization is aimed at helping search engines discover URLs in the most efficient manner. Relevant pages should be easy to reach, while less important pages should not waste crawl budget or create crawler traps. Crawl budget is defined as the number of URLs search engines can and want to crawl. Search engines assign a crawl budget to each website, depending on the authority of the website. Generally, the authority of a website is somehow proportional to its page rank. The concept of crawl budget is essential for e-commerce websites because they usually comprise of a vast number of URLs, from tens of thousands to millions. If the technical architecture of the website puts the search engine crawlers in infinite loops or traps, the crawl budget will be wasted on pages that are not important for users or search engines. This waste may lead to important pages being left out of search engines' indices. Additionally, crawl optimization is where very large websites can take advantage of the opportunity to have the more critical pages indexed and low page rank pages crawled more frequently. The number of URLs Google can index at the time of the crawl increased dramatically after the introduction of their percolator architecture with the caffeine update. However, it's still important to check what resources search engine bots request on your website and to prioritize crawling accordingly. Before we begin, it's important to understand that crawling and indexing are two different processes. Crawling means just fetching files from websites. Indexing means analyzing the files and deciding whether they are worthy of inclusion. So even if search engines crawl a page, they will not necessarily index it. Crawling is influenced by several factors such as the website structure, internal linking, domain authority, URL accessibility, content freshness, update frequency, and the crawl rate settings in Webmaster Tools accounts. Before detailing these factors, let's talk about tracking and monitoring search engine bots. Tracking and monitoring bots. Googlebot, Yahoo Slurp, and Bingbot are polite bots, which means that they will first obey the crawling directives found in robots.txt files before requesting resources from your website. Polite bots will identify themselves to the web server, so you can control them as you wish. The requests made by bots are stored in your log files and are available for your analysis. Webmaster tools, such as the ones provided by Google and Bing, only uncover a small part of what bots do on your website. For example, how many pages they crawl or their bandwidth usage data. That's useful in some ways, but it's not enough. For really useful insights, you have to analyze your traffic log files. From these, you will be able to extract information that can help identify large-scale issues. Traditionally, log file analysis was performed using the grep command line with regular expressions. But lately, there are also desktop and web-based solutions that will make this type of geek analysis easier and more accessible to marketers. On e-commerce websites, Monthly log files are usually huge, gigabytes or even terabytes of data. However, you don't need all the data inside the log files to be able to track and monitor search engine bots. You need just the lines generated by bot requests. This way you can significantly reduce the size of the log files from gigabytes to megabytes. Using the following command line, we'll extract just the lines containing Googlebot, from one monthly log file to another file. To extract similar data for Bing and other search engines, replace Googlebot with other bot names. In this image, you can see how the log file was reduced from 162 megabytes to 1.4 megabytes. Open the bot-specific log file with Excel, then go to Data, then Text to Columns, and use the limited with space to enter the log file data into a table format like this one. In this screenshot, you can see that the data is filtered by status to get a list of all 404 not found errors encountered by Googlebot. 
As a note, you can import only up to 1 million rows in Excel. If you need to import more than this, use MS Access or Notepad++. To quickly identify crawling issues at category page levels, chart the Googlebot hits for each category. This is where the advantage of category-based navigation and URL structure comes in handy. In this example, it looks like the bracelets directory needs some investigation because there are too few bot requests compared to the other directories. By pivoting the log file data by URLs and crawl date, you can identify content that gets crawled less often. In this pivot table, you can see that although the three URLs are positioned at the same level in the hierarchy, the URL at number three gets crawled much more often than the other two. This is a sign that URL number three is deemed more important. Also, more external backlinks and social media mentions may result in an increased crawl frequency. Here are some issues and ideas you should consider when analyzing bot behavior using log files. Analyze server response errors and identify what generates those errors. Discover unnecessarily crawled pages and crawling traps. Correlate days since the last crawl with rankings. Discover whether products listed at the top of listings are crawled more often than products listed on component pages. Consider moving the most important products on the first page rather than having them on component pages. Check the frequency and depth of crawl. The goal behind tracking bots is to establish where the crawl budget is used, identify unnecessary requests, fix the leaks. Instead of wasting budget on unwanted URLs, for example, duplicate content URLs, Focus on sending crawlers to pages that matter for you and for your users. Another useful application of log files is to evaluate the quality of backlinks. Rent links from various external websites and point them at pages with no other backlinks. Then analyze the spider activity on those pages. If the crawl frequency increases, then that link is more valuable than a link that doesn't increase spider activity at all. An increase in crawling frequency on your pages suggests that the page you got the link from also gets crawled often, which means it has good authority. Once you identified good opportunities, work to get natural links from those websites. 